Welcome back to Venusville Plays. We've got ourselves a giant Zug. He actually does a lot of damage. Uh, we're flying. We can fish while flying. No worries about attacks. All that stuff we fished up. Yeah! Alright, well that's enough of that apparently. There we go. I want us to clear all this out. That should be ridiculously easy. Let's go invincible and slaughter everything. There we go. Looks like that's all of them. Better get back to Durand. Haha, <laughs> you can't be serious. Voice of Bari? Am I hearing voices again or is that real? Oh, I'm real alright. I don't appreciate you helping Marla's followers. They should all follow in my spurific cloud. The cloud of Bari. Yeah, whatever voice in the sky. We're just helping a friend out. You dare insert yourselves in this war, newcomers? Ha! Ha 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 ha! Ho ho ho! That was weird. Let's get back to Dern to power pole and let her know what happened. Can we, can we just teleport? We can! Ha ha! Okay. Apparently we're getting involved in a war of the afterlife. Oh, I can't fly over walls. Hey, Dern, the shrine's all clear. It should be safe for you to head over now. Oh, thank you. You didn't see any omens on the way, did you? Any messages from Marla? No, but something called Bari tried to scare us off. It was just a formless voice, though, so who cares? Bari? My purpose must be more momentous than I thought. I'm heading to the shrine now. I think I'll call it Marlapol. Won't be needing any of my worldly possessions. So here, you can do more with this stuff than I could. Come talk sometime. Ten glitter flat ch chitin and fifteen flat stone. Okay, I guess. That was weird. Back up to Marlapol. With my giant zug. Them shinies be so good. Oh, that didn't actually move any story forward. Okay. Well, how is the things we planted at home doing? Nine minutes. Well, I we might as well go out to the Creeping Rift then. Man, I hate when you land and there's something just already attacking you. Hey Hugo, how's it going? See, my flying <laughs> has worn off, but I'm going to collect these bones first and it's going to let me keep flying. While I collect these giant fossilized femurs. Don't mind me, just God floating around in the tar. It's actually kind of awesome. Alright, down to the creeping rift. Whoa, whoa, that hurt. Whew! These fireworks are crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Zug. Saved my life. I forgot to not run directly away from a Zug. Man, that was close. You know, I have no reason to fight any of you guys. I see that, and then I attack this guy. Oh, 
Oh, it's gotta be it. We found whatever this is. Boga Porter. Just in time. These stones are old. Older than the oldest Tendrum stories. Yet we still know the worlds to open them up. When paths do fray, we part the way through grass, frost, and bone. Woo! Glad I didn't mess up that chant. Fickle it is. Just slap this old box on, you'll be on your way. Thanks, Grandmammy. On the way over here, I got to thinking. I still go, still owe Hugo a whooping, and I think you two are, aren't as keen on that as just getting them boxes. I don't think Hugo will give us a choice. We'll have to take him down either way. I suppose that's true. Then on that, we're settled. Hugo must pay, but I'll be coming along to make certain of it. See you on the other side. Oh, well, let's let's try it. We're in a whole new world! A new fantastic point of view. There's no one to tell us no or where to go. Or say we're only dreaming. Ah, that was uncomfortable. I feel super weird right now. Wee with that feeling takes me back. Careful around these parts, the bog itself is one giant organism. She gets a bit surly with newcomers. One giant gross organism? It looks even more disgusting than the video feeds we saw earlier. Now be careful, the bog can hear you. You don't want to hurt her feelings. Creepy. Ahem. <clears throat> bog, you are the most beautiful, uh, slimy, mushy thing that I've ever seen. Nice save, Jukebox. Everything here is so different. It doesn't seem like our current tools will be very effective. Back in the day, we were issued a bog trow when doing recon missions. Pretty sure I remember how to make one. It requires a kiln. And a good amount of parts from these wild vama around here. Why don't you get one of those put together? Ah, oh, we can't make anything. Interesting. We need a trowel for that, we need a trowel for that, we need a trowel for that. But I can walk over that thing. We need five dust shards and 20. I don't even know what that thing is. What is this? Ew. That was a bog sack. It vibrates and pulses with squishy mucus. Drops face huggers, nervixon, granamels, jolly grastalis, blood pods, seg, sectato, and vampires. Do we know anything that can drop that red thing that that guy wanted? No, we don't. Well, let's go home. Oh, whoops, I accidentally set that as home. That's not what I meant to do. I thought if I clicked the home, it would take me home. My mistake. I get these. Vama are covered with these fleshy flaps. Their primary purpose seems to be for decoration. Lady Vamas love a man with big flaps. So I guess we have to go kill. Glidopus love balloons. Oh no, there we go, okay. Now wait a minute. You can get these Glidopus larvas. Wanna see if we get these? D oh, okay, okay. We can just make them.
Well, I guess we go find and kill some of these Vamas, whatever those are. Oh man, there's Zugs every- oh wait, okay, we're not on the other side. Here we are. Tune in tomorrow, we'll explore the bog.